Hi, I'm Audhud Jathar. I'm a senior data scientist with Kantar Analytics Practice. I also hold a PhD in quantitative marketing. And today I'm going to explain why some of the techniques and some of the concepts that we learn as part of computational mathematics, why and how they are useful in data science. So we are particularly going to look at two use cases that are most common in marketing CRM analytics and data science problems. And we are going to analyze why and how, which of these concepts are used there, why they are so fundamental for you to study. So, so we understand you are going to study computational mathematics, right? Uh, why, why do you think you are studying it? You might say, yeah, it's been prescribed to us in the syllabus, right? You might also think, yeah, it's probably useful. I don't quite know why I'm studying what I'm studying. But, uh, you know, as, as seniors in the uh, discipline say, okay, this is an important thing for you to start career in data science. And um, I, 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 I really don't know how, in what ways it is going to be important. But I have also heard this is useful concepts to know. I also know there are people around who are actually data analysts in the field. They don't really use mathematics in their day-to-day -day roles. Why study still, right? So let me give you an analogy of driving a car, right? If I need to drive car, I need to know which controls I should use, which switches I should use to drive the car effectively, right? I don't need to really understand automobile engineering to be able to drive the car, right? So much similar way, you would say, I don't need to know the fundamental concepts of uh, computational mathematics to be able to do my work on a day-to-day basis as an analyst or, if I may say, as data engineer, right? But think of it this way. It's, it's, you, you would also think this is probably useful for somebody who is scientist, who is working on experiments, who is designing experiments, or somebody who is a com computer science researcher who would really be working with these fundamental concepts on a day-to-day basis. I'm not going to do that job. Why do I care about computational mathematics, right? So why study still? So you, you also have heard this, this, this is quite fundamental to everything that we do with data science or AI use cases, right? And you ought to have studied this and reasonably understood. If you aspire to be a data scientist or a machine learning engineer or an AI engineer, or if you aspire to take any professional career in computer science research or with companies that are leading uh, the frontier of computer science and AI, or you aspire to do well with cutting edge technology applications in any engineering or any other application oriented field, right? So let me revisit this car driving analogy once again, right? If you want to drive your car more efficiently, if you want to save your cost for some breakdown of car that has happened, you should be able to know which levers to pull. And that's, that's the same analogy here. When your problems don't work, the problems, the solutions that you are proposing aren't actually helping you with the answers, you really ought to know what are the fundamentals that you, know, you, you, you have approached the solution with, right? So it is in that sense these computational data science concepts are very fundamental and you must know to be able to make you know effective use of these concepts when you work on applications right so in particular in this session i'm going to talk about two major use cases that you would find across many analytics and data science applications the first of these is what what is known as regression analysis right and regression is something we use for prediction purposes. It is also a tool we use for testing hypothesis, for providing explanations for what is driving a, a phenomena that we, that we particularly observe. Like, what are the marketing levers? In what ways they are driving your sales, right? If I would want to understand that, regression is, is considered to be a technique. The other technique that you may have heard of is called 
or a set of techniques are called dimensionality reduction techniques. So you work with a real lot of data and um, you, you really have to be worried about storing that data and using it effectively, right? You may have data which is in the form of large number of variables, right? What you want is efficient representation of this data. What you want is a representation which will suffice for your purposes. And this is where what we do, what is known as dimensionality reduction. And these two techniques we are going to examine in terms of uh, computational mathematics concepts very fundamentally in the session ahead.